Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those and if you have a problem guys where the tailgate does not unlock, it does not open, we'll explain what you need to check, what fuses, things like that. Uh, it could be something else as well. We'll explain where you can buy cheap parts to use fuses relays with a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So guys, if a tailgate does not open, it does not unlock, we will explain what you need to check on that generation Dodge Ram. So go ahead guys and open the hood and here once you open the hood, okay, under the hood on the driver's side, that's your uh, battery, in front of it is the main fuse box, press these two tabs, open that cover underneath, you will find the main fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly guys why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, realize it's a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So guys, here what you will need to, uh, you will need to actually do guys, a few fuses will need to be checked for central locking that are part of it, then we'll explain what else can cause it. Please guys, make sure to stand to the end, we want to give you one good advice, that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. First fuse that you need to check is fuse number 14 right here, very important fuse, and that circuit breaker fuse which is CB1 will need to be checked as well. Other things that can cause guys, okay. Uh, the trunk not to open and close could be a bad trunk lock actuator guys, okay, the actuator practically has a motor that locks it and unlocks it with plastic gears, usually they skip, break, the motor fails sometimes, so bad trunk lock actuator is another common reason that can cause it guys, okay, not to open or not to guys uh, unlock as well, those will be the first thing that we are going to check. So guys, you have all kinds of different fuses and relays. Some of those are very specific, they're hard to find, especially if you're in a small town or in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't find one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days until we got a shipment on the internet, guys. So keep some spares in your glove box for peace of mind. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. 